What's going on, everybody? Today's video, credit card scammer strikes New Jersey hobby shop. We talked a little bit about it on overtime, but I want to do a separate video on to this. And at the same time, hopefully you guys got your stuff loaded for gridiron games today, or gridiron pick'em games today, because it was tight uh, race, and last week some people made some big jumps because some of the people that were on top didn't do so well. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hit this up real quick. Uh, basically, a, a card shop in New Jersey took credit card purchase of $2,600, all right? The person had to pay by two credit cards. So I'm going to scroll down. There's all kind of stuff onto it. Uh, it says they bought high-end wax through this. And I was sitting there when we were live last night. High-end wax for $2,600? I mean, when I think of high-end wax, I'm thinking of 4000 plus, but I might just be still living in the old days, too, of COVID days. Ouch. Picture right here. They show the individual who came in to do that. It looks like there was a good amount of wax that was stuck up on here. Uh, I wanted to get the name of the shop. It was up here. I, I, my bad, everybody. My bad. The Bergen County Sports Cards in... Virgin Field, uh, that's where it happened at. The woman said she did not have her credit cards but with her, but she had the numbers, which the intern working entered them manually. That's one of them crazy things, that you have the numbers to your credit cards, but you didn't bring them with you. I mean, I can understand if it was a long drive back to your house, and if you knew the person, but... A lot of red flags when I was looking at it and everything onto it. The woman also gave the intern a telephone number at 917 area code, which is for cell phones in New York City, basically. Uh, surveillance cameras at the shop also matched the woman making a transaction with a photo on the driver's license she presented. So the license, the woman's name was Emily Rush, and uh, all that onto it. It's really crazy onto it. Ohio driver's license, too. Ohio driver's license. Forgot to mention that as I was reading it. As you guys can see, MasterCard for $1,300, American Express for $1,284, so roughly $2,600 in product. There's a bigger picture of the lady here and the intern that was doing the selling of wax. Like I said, it looks like there's like three or four boxes laying there. The money sits there for six days until Saturday when I noticed that the charge was a fraud and they removed the money from my account to pay back the real owner of the card. Da da da. When I called Banker Mary, the money was gone in the blank. Craziness. Craziness. And it says Bank of America refused to back up manual authorization tracks at transactions after selling him the terminal for $499. Kind of weird. I kind of understand it because there's a lot of fraud and stuff going on, but you got to have some kind of insurance onto that stuff. Oh. So here's the other part of the story. I knew it was down here further. A $5,700 check from what I thought was really a good customer recently bounced. So even more and more stuff going on out there. It's just crazy. I'll put a link to this article into here as well, too. It Hopefully, this all gets straightened out for the card shop owner. It sucks when it happens. I'm not going to lie because you try to give people the benefit of the doubt to make that sell because some places, if you look like, if you went to like the Sunglass Hut or Wilson's Leather, I don't even know what's still out there in store watches. They have goals they're supposed to reach each day on sales. I don't know how card shop, they're doing this stuff. Maybe it's been a bad week for sales, and they're like, all right, yeah, you got your ID. We'll manually put in. It was authorized, blah, 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 blah. Ends up coming back to bite you. Then you have a bounce check for 5700 Just insane, insane, guys. Real quick, everybody. Again, this video is brought to you by StreamCardBreaks.com. Put the website back up. Talked about last video. You do not even need to mess with this stuff up here. You can if you want. If you just scroll right down, these are all the cards for sale. At the most, there will ever be 25 cards out on this page for sale. As I do shows and get stuff back and graded, I'll throw some stuff up here before I decide to either send it off to DC Sports or whatever. At a little bit cheaper price, what where I would expect to be cleared around DC Sports. 
you guys all know anything over $49 is free shipping, of course. And that's pretty much it. If it's raw and I see anything wrong with the condition, check the item description as well. All right, guys, let me pull this off the screen. All right, guys, so hopefully we see this person get some justice. Hopefully there'll be a follow-up on it. I will keep up to date with a lot of the different, uh, I guess you could say, legal actions that are going on out there in the card community against people. It's being published by various news outlets. Other than that, everybody, I'm out. Catch you next video.